EVA foam, tin, dowel rod, box cutters, or cutters. Sharpie. Black and green fluoro colored card paper. This will be for the flechettes. You can buy one of these large rolls of, tin, of sheet metal or tin from um, a hardware store for about $20. It will give you about 20 meters worth of it. So um, it's a really good thing to buy. So then to start off, you just gotta get a bunch of it spanning the length of your arrow. Carefully wrap the dowel rod in the tin. This will make a nice cylindrical shape that you can make into the arrow. And once you're done with that, you can just take it out by... There you go. One arrow shape. Put the shaft against a piece of EVA foam and sketch out the head, like so. Now, we cut it out. Once you've got the arrowhead, you can go ahead and draw in the chamfer lines. These are so that you can shave off the edges to so, quote-unquote sharpen your arrowhead. You should sand off the grid pattern on the other side and do the same thing. Once you've done that, you got your sharp, sexy little arrow, and you gotta get a paintbrush. Just a small one will do, and and dip it in a sealant, which is just PVA glue and water, and coat the thing in five layers of it, including dry time. It is a pain in the ass, but you gotta do it. Otherwise, it won't seal properly, and you will have a badly painted job. Once it's all dry, paint the arrowhead green. It can be any color, really, but um, as you can see, the the color that I chose is an olive green for Oliver Queen, and it was pretty terribly fitting. It, it doesn't fit at all with the with the color that it's supposed to be. So don't do that. Just just um, I I suggest you just research the color and then just find it. But you know, too lazy to show you that, of course. Please don't unsubscribe. Paint the shaft black. Yep, the whole thing. Use a hacksaw to cut down the middle, just, just, just a bit so that it can knock, knock onto the bowstring. Then it can fire, sort of. Stick the the green and black pieces of paper together so that it, so that it'll make a double edge thing. You're gonna be left with these shape things that are gonna be the flechettes. You're gonna need three of these per arrow. Move about five centimeters down, and you shall and put the first um, little flechette on, and make sure it is in line with the arrow head. So if it's facing vertical, this thing should be vertical. Then what? Then next, you should get your other sticks, and make sure the green side is always facing anti-clockwise. And put it at the next third, and same with the last piece, and then do that for the rest of your arrows. Once you got one arrow, you can go ahead and make as many as you want to fit in your quiver. For me, I'm gonna make mm, I don't know, maybe three more to put it in, so let's get working. This looks like enough. I definitely don't need to, you know, overdo it and make as many as I need to. Wow! So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, share this video, or subscribe if you want to. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time.